for the last time ever. Welcome to iPod. Hi, my name is Pete and I just bought an iPod in 2022. In this video, I'm going to tell you why. Let's go. Yes, after more than 20 years, Apple have announced that this, the iPod Touch 7th generation, is going to be the last iPod ever produced. So did I buy this because nostalgia or because it's the last one? Yeah, that definitely came into it. But you might be surprised at exactly what this little sucker can do. So why don't we take a look at this while we chat about all things iPod. And while I'm opening this up, why don't you share with me in the community your experience with iPods over the last 20 years? Did you own the early ones, the late ones? Did you have a love-hate relationship with them? Let us know down in the comments. Here we go. Unwrapping my very last iPod. Oh. A thing of beauty. So many of you probably know the history of the iPod. It was launched more than 20 years ago now. It was a hard drive based device with five gigabytes spinning hard drive. And the main appeal of it was that you could put a thousand songs in your pocket. It was actually marketed really well. Over time, we had the Nano, we had the Shuffle, and we had this, the iPod Touch, which is like an iPhone, but without the phone. So why would anyone ever buy one of these? Well, let's chat about that now. Now, if you know me, you know that I buy things in red. Why? Because they go faster. Not really, but they look cool anyway. So this is the product red. I only got the 32 gigabyte model. So this is the absolute base model. Here in Australia, it was $299. It's literally the cheapest iOS device that you can buy. And if you owned an iPhone 5, this is probably a very familiar form factor for you. You got the big bezels around the outside, the little camera there. You've got a home button there. You've got your camera on the back there. And uh, guess what you got on the bottom here? Not only a lightning port, but a headphone jack. Yes, we can plug in three and a half millimeter headphones. So uh, that's already got a few things that my current iPhone 12 doesn't. And you'll also probably notice that it's very thin because it doesn't have to have a SIM card in there. It doesn't need that cellular wireless in there. So it can afford to be quite a bit thinner. Let's uh, turn on and... Uh, see this for the very first time. So while that's booting up, why did I buy this really? Well, it's because I use an iPhone 12 Pro as my main driver phone. And I used to actually carry a second phone. And I realized that I didn't actually need a second cellular device. I needed a second Wi-Fi device. I needed something that I could listen to streaming music via Wi-Fi, connect up, tether to my phone, or when I'm home here, listen to music, watch YouTube, and do a little bit of light work there without having to go to my iPhone all the time. So I thought that this might be the perfect companion device. And if you don't want to just take it from me, check out the video in the description. Fellow Adelaide YouTube extraordinaire creator Dank Pods did a whole video about why this is the best iPod ever. Hello, 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 hello. I do love that they give you some battery when you first get these devices. Anyone else remember the early days where you'd have to plug it in and charge it? You get this brand new funky cool device and you'd spend the first like eight hours waiting for it to charge. No bueno, this is super better. Now, because this thing is running some pretty modern software, we'll talk about that in a moment, we can pair it up with our device straight away. So I'm just gonna come in here and say, continue to set up this iPod Touch using my iPhone 12. Do the little camera dearly to take a photo and it'll start syncing up and setting up. So while this is setting itself up, let's talk about some tech specs. So yes, this is running the A10 processor, which is pretty long in the tooth when you consider the A13s and 14s and 15s that we have in modern devices today. But for what I want to use it for, it actually packs a pretty big punch. Even though it is based on the form factor of the iPhone 5, it's actually kind of got the guts of an iPhone 6S. In fact, you can still update this to the latest iOS 15 software, which means, yes, the latest version of GarageBand, the latest version of iMovie, all of your latest apps can run on this little device. Now, unlike when I'm setting up a new phone, I'm definitely not going to sync my data and apps because uh, this thing's got 512 gigabytes and this has 32. And yes, if you wanted to use this for more of a video or audio player that you'd take with you away from wireless or cellular signals that you can tether to, you may want to go the 128 or the 256. And if you do want to buy one, yeah, Apple are no longer making these. As of May 2022, whatever's left in stock is what they're going to sell. So this is the last iPod that will ever be manufactured. And there we go. For the last time, welcome 
to iPod. So I've jumped into the software update. This actually shipped with iOS 15.3.1. So pretty up to date. We can, of course, update this to the latest iOS 15.4.1, which I'm going to do now. And there you go. Look at those glorious default apps, including <gasps> GarageBand. There it is, GarageBand on a phone-like device. It's 16 by nine with no notch. It's a glorious day. And we're in. There it is, that familiar interface. Nice and responsive here. Let's fire up the keyboard and uh, give it a play. Lovely. Now again, the A10 is not going to be the snappiest processor. I've just fired up iMovie here and it took a couple of seconds to load up, but there you go. We're in there. But what I do love is having that double tap home button to move between there. And uh, of course, when I want to start listening to stuff, I'll plug in my regular headphones. So is the iPod Touch 7th generation something that everyone should race out and pick up right now before stocks run out? Yeah, probably not. But if, like me, you've got a soft spot, some nostalgia for the iPod, yeah, maybe grab yourself one. Or if you're smart, you'll leave it in its box and hold on to it. Because who knows, these are not worth much now. But maybe one day, maybe one day.